my channel i hope you are all doing very well if you are new here then my name is becky and it is lovely to meet you today i am sharing some clipping hair extensions with you guys now they are from a company called irresistible me and this company reached out to me to see if i would be interested in trying their products um so they kindly sent me a pair of their clipping hair extensions to share with you guys and I'm super excited to see what they are like. Now, I used to wear hair extensions when I was probably about 18, 19 years old. Um, my hair was nowhere near as long as it is now. And as a teenager, I really damaged my hair to the point that I over straightened it. Don't ask me why I used to straighten it because my hair is naturally so straight and flat anyway. Um, but yeah, straightening your hair was just like a big thing everyone was doing when I was a teenager. And I basically ended up using too much heat on my hair and it broke off. It was quite short. It was shorter on one side than the other. But I literally remember going to the hair salon and being like, what can you do to my hair? Like, please do something to make it look better than it does. And then since that point, I try not to use anywhere near as much heat on my hair. And as you can tell, it honestly made such a difference um, to the growth of my hair, the strength of my hair. Um, yeah, I literally just went for years without putting hardly anything on it. I must admit, I probably use a bit more heat now than I used to, but I'm very conscious on keeping an eye on the, like the, how my hair is and the products that I use and make sure I always use heat protector and things like that. Anyway, I feel like I'm going off with a completely different story. Um, so around that time, I started wearing clipping hair extensions and I would literally wear them daily. Um, yeah, it was just, I feel like you kind of go through these stages, don't you? Um, and then as the kind of natural quality of my hair improved, because I wasn't using heat, kind of then just basically stopped wearing them. Um, so I haven't worn hair extensions for years. Anyway, this company reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in trying their products. And I had a look on their website and I was honestly so impressed with the products they had on there the colors that they had on there because i remember the like 18 19 can't speak today the 18 19 year old me going in to buy hair extensions i used to get them from a place called sally's um which is kind of like a wholesaler for like hair and beauty products um and there was just not much choice so i literally would have to find one that was similar to my hair colour and then quite often I would then dye them or cut them to kind of fit my hair perfectly. Anyway, I went on their website and they had so many different shades and you could have straight, you could have curly, they did it for different hair textures, different thicknesses, different lengths. They do clipping hair extensions, they do like hair like toppers, um ponytails wigs honestly they do so many different things on that i was just really impressed and all the hair is 100 percent um human hair yeah 100 percent human hair color match guarantee zero stress transformation zero damage recyclable packaging so when you go on there and you choose your color when they send it to you at the bottom you have this try me bit so if you open this and it doesn't match your hair you can then send the product back and obviously change it for a color that's going to be more suitable to match your hair now i was really worried when i was ordering um because i don't know if you can see in this light lighting my hair desperately by the way needs to have a color um i've got lots of gray coming through the top um but i thought I would film this video anyway because it's going to be a little while before i go and have my hair done because again if you are regular on my channel you'll know that i've actually had reactions to hair dye in the past so when i do have my hair colored it has to be in to cover the gray it has to be in foil yeah it's just a bit of palaver so i don't have it done very often but um 
I don't know if you can see in this lighting, I kind of have like different tones in my hair. So I thought this is gonna be really hard to match it up. Um, anyway, I went for this colorway. I don't know if it actually says it on here. Um, I will put, what I will do is um, I will put the color that I had on the screen just for reference um, in case you're interested. Um, and obviously in the description, I will link their website so you can go and have a look at their products. I do also have a discount code for you, which I'll put on the screen now. And I will also put it in the description box. Um, but yeah, I have opened the try me bit and honestly, I'm so impressed with the color match. So this try me bit is actually curly at the minute. But can you see it's got the naturally lighter tones through the bottom? So if I put it on, can you see like it, obviously this piece is curly, but can you see it's naturally lighter on the bottom like it is on my hair? I honestly can't believe how good a match that is. Um, like I said, I do desperately need to color my hair. So I've got the gray on top. So normally when I have it, it is slightly darker on the roots than it is at the moment. But do you know what? Like if I put this, like what a, good colour match that is like I feel like it just really blends in um so yeah I'm super excited to see what it's going to look like and obviously I have really long hair so I am not trying these for the length but my hair I have a lot of hair but I wouldn't say it's overly very thick um so yeah when they reached out to me I thought that I would um, try them because if you're going out somewhere and do you know when you just want your hair to look like full of volume, like really thick, I just thought it'd be perfect for kind of those times. Um, obviously you could wear them daily if you wanted to, but yeah, I just thought it'd be really nice to have them for special occasions. So I'm really impressed with that color match. So I'm gonna open up the other bit and see what they are like but I just think that's really good because like now if that didn't match you can send this back because obviously you don't want to buy something and then not be able to use it you can then return it without actually opening them up um, and change it for a different color so let's open up the main bit now yeah so it says open me only if you want to keep me so as long as you haven't opened this top bit you can then send it back to change the colour. So Irresistible Me is um, an American, American company. I believe they're based in New York. So inside you've got this little bag, which is super cute. because obviously you can keep them in here to keep them nice. So it just says, just Irresistible Hair, Irresistible Me. I'm gonna open it up. I was going to film this on the dining table, but um, it's just been Easter, so I feel like it's full of Easter bits. Um, so I'm going to sit here, see if we can get this out. Ooh. Super exciting. So in here, it looks like they give you some extra little clips. And then this is like in a little hair bag, like a little hair net. Wow, honestly, it feels incredible. Look at that. Look at the length of that. I think that, I didn't know what length to go for and I feel like it's gonna be longer than my hair. But look, what a good color match. Like honestly, like, I feel like I couldn't have got like a better color. So let me work out how you open this. Whether I need to cut it or whether I can bend down. And you can literally style these so you could straighten them, curl them. Um, they honestly feel so lovely and soft. I feel like this would have been easier for me probably just to cut it. But that is them. So inside. Okay, we have some different strips. 
so it looks like we've got some single clip pieces so i've got two of the single clips i literally need to try and remember how to put them put them in it's been so long um i did notice on their website though they had loads of things on there like um where you could look into how, how you put them in how you look after them how you care for them yeah their website was really really useful and then i've got two of the two-piece clips i wonder if they're try me and obviously i've also got the try me piece as well which is a two clip so you can obviously definitely make use of that the, oh no i've got two more of the two piece so that's four two three piece and these are so much thicker than the ones i used to wear and then you've got this one which is a four piece which again is a much thicker piece but like i said they do these they do um like you can get like a piece that just like goes on top um maybe if you want it to look thicker if you're going thinner on top they do ponytails Feel like the ponytails are a really good one too um but i'm just super impressed with the quality they honestly feel so lovely so let's try and put them in like i said i have not put in clip and hair extensions for years so um yeah bear with me but basically what you need to do is just like put the clips in different parts of your hair um I feel like you can't really go wrong. I'm just gonna brush my hair through. So I've literally just washed and dried my hair today. Um, right, let's give this a go. I'm gonna be no pro because I have not done this in so long. Just gonna section my hair. Also, I don't have a mirror in front of me. I'm literally just doing it in the camera. So I'm gonna give it my best shot. Right, so I've got my bottom section. Now I actually might put one of these in first the three and then do the four because yeah. obviously you could you kind of need to play around with it i think with your hair and find out what sits best but i'm gonna go for the three I'm literally filming on my camera, so I'm literally just out oh, my phone camera. So I'm literally just using my phone screen for this, so probably been better doing it in the mirror, but let's see how we go. Let's just put down some more. I'm gonna go in with the four now. So you literally just slide the clips down. And push them to close them. Like I feel like I've got like such thick hair already. I feel like I could put some twos in there as well next. There's probably like a way that you're meant to do it. Like you're probably meant to put them in a certain order, but I'm just kind of going with it. 
and what turns out like. One thing I will say so far is I can't, like, they don't feel heavy on my hair, which is good. Like I don't literally can't really feel, I feel like this is when now I could do with being by the mirror, but I go with now. I've got a three and I've got some twos and a one. Let's go, I'm going to go with some twos, I think. And slide, so you can probably see it better now. If you're going to slide down and push. You can probably see all my grey now, when underneath. I feel like the more you do this, like the easier it would be and you kind of would know where they sit best on your hair. And then, I'm going to put a three at the back, I think. Like I said, I'm no pro at this at all. I may look in the mirror after and think, oh God, I put the name wrong, but let's see. I just feel like I've got chair I just feel like it's blending in really well obviously I have literally not even like styled it or anything I think this will look really nice like with it wavy because it would give you that like volume so I've got two twos and two ones left so literally cannot see the sections that I'm doing in my phone but hopefully it's looking all right Let me know in the comments of any of you guys, do you wear clip-in hair extensions? Would they be something you would wear? I feel like I'd be really interested in trying like the ponytails too. I feel like that'd be like, like do you know when like, you want to put your hair up and you want like a nice, like, like big volume in your pony. But like I said, I am absolutely no pro at doing this so. I literally could be doing this completely wrong. But I'm kind of just going with it. It's super easy to slide in. Just kind of getting them where you want them to go. I'm hoping that's kind of right. And that will actually look in the proper mirror <laughs> in a minute. So then I've got some, I want to see, like, look how, you probably can't even see the end, I will show you like a full length in a minute. I've got some ones, so maybe they could go like near the front. I don't want to go too close because obviously you want to hide the clips. I'm super excited to look in the mirror. In a minute, let's see what this is looking like. We'll see. I need to just check that all the clips are hidden. I'm just going to go and have a look in the mirror. So I've just put you on the stand so you can see a better full length. So I went for the colorway dark ombre, um, which is obviously perfect match for my hair. Like I literally could not have got a better match. And I went for the classic. So they do classic and they also do volume. So if you go for the volume, obviously they are thicker. Um, and I went for 24 inch in length. So they do all different lengths. Obviously, because I have long hair anyway, I needed to make sure that they were at least the length of my hair, if not longer. 
Um, so yeah, I've gone for the 24 inch and as you can see, they are slightly longer than my hair. And obviously depending where you place them, kind of depends where they go. So I think what I would do personally is when I kind of um, get them into like position of where they sit in my hair, I think I would actually cut them to match the length of my natural hair because I don't actually want them to add length to my hair. I just want them to add volume. So if I am going to like a party or a wedding and I curl my hair, I've just got that kind of really volumized look. Um, I don't actually want the length. So like, as you can see, um, you can see some of them and it's probably the ones that are lower down in my hair that are kind of sitting lower. Um, so what I would do, and this is what I used to do when I was younger and I had a hair extension, I would just cut them to how I wanted and then you can see it just adds the volume. So if I show you the back, I'm hoping you can see on there, obviously you can see they are longer than my hair. And obviously I just went for the classic. If I went for, if I wanted them to be longer than my hair, I think I would go for the volume so they're kind of nice and thick at the ends. Um, but yeah, I literally would just trim them, just trim the little ends just so they match the length of my hair. And again, obviously you don't have to put all of them in at once. So I've kind of put the full head in. Um, and I must say the clips do hide very well. Um, but you could just put like a piece in either side or yeah, you know, like you don't have to wear all of them. Um, so let me know in the comments what you think. Obviously I haven't styled them or trimmed them to length or anything. Um, but yeah, it's just really interesting to see. And you probably notice I literally can't stop doing this because it just feels so thick and lovely. Um, but yeah, I definitely think I am going to trim them to match the length of my natural hair and then try them with it nice and styled. Um, so maybe in a future video, I will show you that. Um, but yeah, like I said, it would just be kind of more the special occasions that I wear them. It won't be a day-to-day -day thing. But yeah, honestly, they feel so lovely. So comment below, let me know what you think. Do you wear clip-in hair extensions? Like, are you interested in wearing them? Um, yeah, I would definitely be interested in trying one of their ponytails now. Like, you know, like when you have your hair up to have a really nice thick ponytail, I think that's such a lovely look. Um, and like I said, I will link their website below i will also put my discount code to save yourself some money if it is something you are interested in purchasing so yeah let me know in the comments what you think um if you like this content and you aren't already then do consider subscribing so you don't miss out on my future videos and i will see you again in my next video goodbye everyone